Okay, these are the 11 6 notes. Um, we're going to be using the formula for area of a circle and the circumference, but instead of talking about the whole circle, we're going to be talking about sections. So as you can see here in the definitions, the sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii and an arc of the circle. So in this case, a sector, try to use the red, is the area of kind of like this big chunk of pi over here. Okay, it's the area of a sector. The arc length, notice that this is different than what we did before in chapter 9. That's talking about the distance from A, excuse me, to B. Sorry for the messy way I did that. Now, the notation for arc length, you're going to see it's going to be a little different. When we did an arc angle, I guess is what you call it, we had like the measure of arc AC. When we're talking about arc length, what you're going to see, if I can, is a cursive L AC. So an arc length is going to be given in centimeters, inches, feet, something like that. An arc measure is going to be given in degrees. So you do need to look at the notation. I'm going to put the arc symbols above there for you. So arc AC. If it's an M, it's asking for a degree measure, which is what you did in Chapter 9. If there's a cursive L there, they're looking for the actual length from A to B. Now, to get the area of the sector and the length of the arc, it's really not too bad. You're going to look at this central angle here, X, and think of that, what fraction is that of the whole circle of the 360? So you're going to take that number over 360 to give you the fraction of the circle, and then just multiply it by the area of the whole thing. For the length of the arc, again, you're going to find out what fraction of the circle is it and multiply that by the circumference. So the radius of a circle is 3 centimeters for all of these. Find the length of the given arc and the areas of the given sectors determined by the arcs. So what they are meaning here, and again, I apologize for my drawing abilities, is here's your circle. Okay, if this part in here is 50 degrees for this problem, you're going to find first the length of the arc, okay, so how far is it from here to here, and then the area of the sector, okay, what's the area of this piece. So find out the fraction of 360, so this would be 50 over 360, that simplifies to 536 of the entire thing. Um, and give these a try using those ideas. So I would like you to try and work through these yourself. Um, there are actually four problems here. You're going to do it for a 50 degree section, a 20 degree section, a 140, and a 210. So push pause, try these on your own, and then come back and push play to check your answers. All right, here are your answers. In, I found the circumference of the entire circle, again, with a radius of 3. 50 over 360 gives me a 536. So I found 536 of 6 pi. Um, if you multiply this, remember 6 pi is like over 1, so the 6 and the 36 would simplify. Kind of makes it a little easier. So 5 pi over 6, and I guess it should be saying centimeters here, for just the length of the arc of that piece. And for the area, the area of the whole circle is 9 pi. Again, I don't want the whole circle. I want this fraction of the circle. And again, if you're looking at the calculations, 5 over 36 time multiplied by 9 pi over 1, if you simplify that, 5 pi over 4. Okay. The circumference and area of the entire circle never changes for each of these problems. Um, but the fraction of the circle does change. So I changed the fraction of the circle. And got my answers here. So pi over 3 and pi over 2. And I should have labeled these. All the circumferences should be labeled with centimeters and all the areas should be labeled with centimeters squared. Okay, So check your answers here. Push pause if you need to. All right. In the next problems, here we have an area of a sector. So I switched up what I gave you. I gave you the area of the sector and the central angle here and asked you to find the radius. Okay, I'm going to let you give that a try. Think about it. Do your best. And then down here, we have another problem. We have an entire circle. 
with a triangle and we know that this arc from A to B is 120 degrees. That's the measure of the arc, not the length. And I'm asking you to find the shaded region. So again, I'd like you, even if you can only get through a little bit, please push pause and try your best to work through as much of it as you can. And then come back for the answer. <laughs> All right. The answer's here. I said, okay, here's my area, my sector. My sector is going to be... Here's the area of the whole circle, and my section is 9 out of 360, the 9 coming from right here, this angle. I divided by both sides by pi, and I simplified the 9 over, three, 9 over 360. So the 140th came from simplifying the fraction. I divided both sides by pi. That's why that's gone. I'm multiplying both sides by 40 to get the r squared alone, and then I square rooted um, r to find that the radius would be 5. For the problem down below, for the area of the sector, I found, again, if this is um, arc AB's measure, then the central angle is also 120. So I found the area of the whole sector, okay? But I had the whole sector, and then I had to take out this triangle. So I had my work here for the area of the triangle, half the base times the height, which we've been doing in this chapter. You can see it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the area of the shaded region is going to be the area of the sector, and then I'm going to subtract out the area of the triangle. That's the part I cut out of it. Okay. If you have any questions, um, please write those down. You can email or ask me in class, um, and check Canvas for the homework assignment. Okay, and that concludes our 11.6 notes.